Good morning, everybody out there. King Gonzalez here for Georgia Land Event Productions, and we have a boys under 13 match here at the 2007 Las Vegas Mayor's Cup. Just about set here. We've got two 30-minute halves. First round game for these two squads. Manchester United in white on the left half of your screen, and in red, the Central Valley Cyclones. And there's the whistle, and we have now begun Minute number one of this 60 minute match. We're here at Kellogg Zayer complex on one of the artificial surface fields. A little cloud cover here this morning. Nice breeze. Beautiful day for soccer. Central Valley now comes in deep. Shot to the net is going to be wide, deflected away by the keeper. Number six for the Cyclones, Javier Hernandez with that shot on goal and the keeper. That's Danny there, number one. Deflected that one away. If he hadn't touched it, it might have hit the side of the net, but he can't take that chance. So the corner kick here for the Cyclones. Kick high into the air center. Nicely the header is going to hit the crossbar. Oh nice shot there. Number 13 for the Cyclones, Michael Escamilla. And it just hits the crossbar, comes back out. And Central Valley is turned away there. Beautiful setup off that corner kick, though, for the Cyclones. And now number 16 here, far side, Hector. Hector comes in near the back line, stops, changes directions, tries to move inside. A lot of red jerseys and with the left leg. Oh, the flick right there, but the shot, shot is going to hit the near post. Number 20, Carlos nearly puts one into the net right there. Defense for Central Valley is back, and that shot on goal stopped by the keeper, Brandon Hernandez. So each team coming so close to scoring here early on, both of them hitting the bar, one the sidebar, the other the crossbar. A couple players get tangled up right there, no whistle. And the keeper, Hernandez, makes a stop and Brandon's kick right down the middle. Junior number 19. And the whistle comes in. I believe it was an offside. The flag goes up here on the near side. And so the break for the Cyclones. For those of you watching this one who didn't have the pleasure of being here, it is very nice out right now with that breeze and the Clouds covering the sun here. Saturday morning, 9.20 a.m. start here. Field number two at Kellogg's there. Number 10, far side. Maya tries to work it. So now the action just here in the middle third. Nearly a handball right there. Number 18 came flying through Efren Perez. And the ball will go out last touch by Manchester United. So the Cyclones again with an opportunity far side. Nice strong kick with the left leg, but that goes right into the hands of Danny, the keeper. First touch right there, number 23, Tigran Turaturian. And they're gonna lose it here near side. Now they battle for it here, and that's gonna go off the side of the head of Jorge Moran, number 10 here for the Cyclones. And the throw and his foot was over the line right there, so 
It goes over to the Cyclones. So Moran with the header starts it off here. Ball in the middle of the field. Now they move here near side. Number six, Javier Hernandez for the Cyclones. Runs into some trouble. And Manchester United wants to move left to right. And ball kicked away and will roll here into the corner here on the near side. Moran with the pass into the middle of the field. Touch there, number six, Hernandez. And that one deflected out. Goal kick here for Manchester. Dangerous pass right there. Just got to number 15, Jonathan. And so dodging a bullet right there. Manchester United, not sure why on that goal kick. Manchester, you decided to go that route, but they nearly lost it. Luckily for them, they were able to control the ball. Now at midfield, number 10, Maya, pass up field, just a little bit too strong. And number seven, Timothy View will get there. And some help from his teammate, Timmy Thompson there, number 14, Thompson. Knocked that ball out far side. Now in the circle. Central Valley across midfield. Number 13 with the touch there. Michael Escamilla. And let's see which way Manchester U wants to go here. Number 19, Junior down the middle. is a pass in front of the net, deflected away. Number seven, Timothy View. Nice job on defense by Timothy to knock that shot on goal away. It rolls out across the back line. And so we have a quarter kick for Manchester now. Can they capitalize? Here comes the kick. Cleared away on the header, but not far enough. Number 19, Junior again with the touch. Rolls out here towards midfield. Number 13, Michael Escamilla uses his body to control the ball. Pass deflected, it'll go out far side. Still red ball, number 16, Connor Pelosi. And Connor into play. And now here comes Central Valley. Angling in towards the net. Again, Escamilla, number 13. He's going to be knocked over there near the far side, near the back line. So a nice opportunity again here for the Cyclones on that free kick. And let's see how they set this one up. Are they going to attack straight away? Everyone in the box, so it looks as though they're going to go right inside. Here comes a kick, and the header is going to be good into the back of the net. That's the second time they've tried that setup there. Remember the first one, the header hits the crossbar. And this time, Escamilla will put it through. And the Cyclones with a 1-0 lead here in the first half. And let's see how Manchester U will come back here. So the Cyclones, with that free kick, decided just to go right at the throat 
of Manchester that went right inside in the nice header there. Powerful shot into the back of the net. Nothing that the keeper, Danny, could really do right there. It was just set up perfectly. Pelosi again, far side. Now they move the ball into the middle of the field. Cyclones on the attack again, right to left. The white jerseys there on defense, so with the takeaway. Jorge Moran, number 10, gets it back here on the near side. Pass into the middle. Comes right back out to him, though. Javier Hernandez thought it was a little too risky inside, came outside, and shot on goal number 17, Sergio Segura. Too much on that when it goes out, and the goal kick for Manchester. So we'll give you the rosters here for the Central Valley Cyclones. Number four, Adrian Torres. Number six is Javier Hernandez. Number seven, Timothy View. Number eight, Michael Munoz. Number nine, Bernardo Herrera. Number 10, Jorge Moran. Number 12, Javier Herrejon. Number 13, Michael Escamilla. Number 14, Timmy Thompson. Number 16, Connor Pelosi. Number 17, Sergio Segura. Number 18, Efren Perez. Number 23 is Tigran Tiraturian. And the keeper is Brandon Hernandez. The head coach, Joseph Espinosa. The assistant coach, Makoto Anderson. And the manager is Maria Villalpando. So you have the roster there for the Central Valley Cyclones out of the Northern California area. And for Manchester U, as they bring it up here across midfield. Tigran with the touch there, and he's got to get back to it. Ball is out, and it is red ball. Tigran. Tigran to Jorge, and Tigran took a shot to his shin, and he is down on the ground now, so they're going to have to substitute him out. Into the middle. Both these squads showing off a pretty good passing game. Timmy Thompson, and his pass upfield is going to be deflected over to the far side. Picked up by Connor Pelosi, number 16, and they run out of room on the far side, and let's see... Ball will belong to Central Valley. And Tigran now will come out hobbling. And that looks pretty severe. So we'll have to see if he comes back into this match. Adrian Torres, number four in. And number 18, Efren Perez as well. Thompson gets back on defense inside now. Perez clears it away, shot to the net, number 17. It's going to go off his leg. Eddie, bit of a misfire right there here to the near corner. Still picked up by his teammates, though, and Manchester U. Still with an opportunity. Junior, number 19. Junior changes directions, moves inside. And with the left leg, shot on goal just over the crossbar. Nice job right there by Manchester U. Working it in and out. Junior with a nice shot, but it is just a bit high. And Central Valley retains that 1-0 lead. Cyclones try to push it up to midfield. Adrian Torres there far side, but the white jerseys of Manchester making it difficult right now.
Who's going to control the ball right here? Red team. Cyclones are going to pass it here to the near side. And they're going to right inside again. Jorge Moran. Nice job, number six. Or actually, Javier Hernandez. Moran, number 10 here on the near side. And as Hernandez moved inside, he has the ball taken away, but it's picked up by his teammate, Sergio Segura. Now it's Moran here on the near side. Comes in, his pass deflected away. Manchester driving the Cyclones here to the near side. Crosshair intended for Javier Hernandez. Efren Perez, number 18. Tries that shot inside and is deflected away. Goes out here, near side. Ball belongs to Manchester. Segura on the pickup. Taken away. Number seven, his shot on goal right into the hands of the keeper, Danny. That was Timothy View. Had a lot on it, but it was just a little bit wide and right to the keeper. The score by Central Valley early on, you get the sense that there aren't going to be too many more goals scored here in this match. Both teams very tough in the middle. And when somebody does manage to get into the backfield now, the defenses are holding up. Carlos, number 20. Timmy Thompson, far side, number 14. And he gets some help there from Michael Munoz, number eight. So here at Kellogg's Air, one of the three complexes in use here for this Las Vegas Mayor's Cup. Betty Wilson complex, just a, about two miles away. And then the third complex, Ed Fountain, the smallest of the three complexes, with a left leg shot on goal right to Danny, the keeper. Again, number 17, Sergio Segura. Seen that strong leg now a few times here in the first half. A lot of greenery over there on the far side. Number 16, Connor Pelosi for the Cyclones. And let's see. Ball belongs to the Cyclones. Being retrieved. And I believe it is a corner kick. And number 18, Efren Perez. He's got the long run to retrieve that one. And another corner kick here for the Cyclones. That's the same side of the field that their previous score was initiated on. And they cornered just a little bit long. They did get the touch and the header, but not much on it. And it goes right to Danny the keeper for Manchester. In the circle. Now left to right. A lot of bodies flying around here in this match. But I'm not sure that there are that many penalties. 50-50 balls, collisions, a couple of guys getting tangled up, cleared out. And the defense number 18 for Central Valley will walk it up. Efren Perez passes it here to the near side, Jorge Moran. Jorge across midfield to number six, Javier Hernandez. Hernandez goes inside, but oh, on the wrong side of number 13, Michael Escamilla, and the ball taken away by Manchester. So the referee in the middle letting these guys play, that's for sure. 
They get past the defense. Number one can't recover. That's going to be an easy score there for Manchester. The keeper came out, Brandon Hernandez, and that was exactly what Manchester wanted. He came out. They changed direction just momentarily and were able to take a shot on an open net as Brandon tried to get back. So number four into the match now for Manchester, Sergio. For number 17, Eddie. So we're all tied up at one. Just a breakdown right there defensively for the Cyclones. They were left with nobody back there. And it was two white jerseys penetrated. Very close to an offsides, but they did get in. And that left Hernandez all alone there. And they lured him out. And he just couldn't get back in. So 1-1 one, one first half. Okay, just about 10 minutes to go here in the first half. Nice cross. Oh, number 17, Segura. Misses a sweep right there. Right in front of the net, tried that kick, and it was just over the ball. He had a good look at it. Goal kick here. Kick for Manchester. Central Valley trying to come inside, but the defense is tough here for Manchester U. Red team really working for a look right now. It's out here near side, still red ball. Jorge Moran with the throw in to Sergio Segura, number 17. Segura surrounded by white jerseys. It's cleared away, he's gonna lose it. Perez streaking across midfield. He's got some speed, so he gets back on defense. Pass Thompson, number 20, Carlos now. He's got a breakaway to the net. Deflected away by the keeper in front of the net. Oh, again, it's deflected. Number four was there, and the defense gets back. Huge play for the Cyclones. It's out here near side. White ball. So Manchester U with a huge opportunity right there, but... Some pesky defense for the Cyclones. Turned them away. Brandon Hernandez really bailed out right there. He got some help. He needed it last time. He was all alone there. And this time he had some defenders there to help out. Adrian Torres, number four. Across midfield. Javier Hernandez, number six, trying to thread the needle right there. Bogged down by number 15, Jonathan. And that shot gonna be wide, it's out. And let's see here, that is a goal kick. So we had the early score for the Cyclones and then went through a nice little 12 to 15 minute period there of just Back and forth in the middle third of the field. Some saves, some near misses. And now things have really heated up here after the tying score by Manchester U. The pace of the game really picking up. Nice little flick pass right back into the middle of number 19, Junior. But from behind, nice play. Adrian Torres, number four. Again, into the box of keeper there, but number 18, 
Efren Perez from behind makes a stop. Deflects it out. And it goes out here near side. Not a corner kick, just a throw in here. about seven minutes remaining here in the first half. And that's gonna go off of Hernandez there and the corner kick. Corner kick here for Manchester. That shot on goal was gonna be wide. It was well wide. Hernandez tried to catch it on his chest and it bounces off. And that's a break for Manchester as they will have the corner instead of Central Valley clearing it up towards midfield. Six minutes remaining. Hernandez in front of the net and the kick is gonna be behind the net. And so after all that, we still have, or we now have the goal kick for the Cyclones. Strong kick on a bounce just below midfield. <laughs> One by Manchester U, and again they move it left to right, but nobody's gonna be home here on the nearer side, and deflected out here by number 18, Efren Perez. It'll be a white ball here near side. Junior number 19 with the throw in. Nearly picked off by Segura. Deflected there by Adrian Torres. And now the red team on the run. Down the middle pass is gonna be intercepted there in the middle of the field by Manchester U. Number nine, out of control there, Frankie. He'll lose it, it rolls to the far side. Timmy Thompson battling there, gets some help from his teammate number 12. Javier Jerejon. Carlos there, far side number 20. Wanted to get out and run again, but it was deflected away. Thompson quickly puts it back into play. Ball in the circle now. Fired into the backfield of the Cyclones and they send it right back the other way again. Torres, we're tied at one here, first half. Shot towards the net and it's gonna find its way into the back of the net, number six, Javier Hernandez. And Hernandez will put the Cyclones up two to one here in the first half as he went one on one with the keeper, Danny. And it was right past him. So the Cyclones will regain the lead here, two to one late in the first half. Just about three minutes remaining. And into the match for Manchester U, Eduardo, number six. In the circle. Very interesting there on that goal by the Cyclones. You didn't see a lot of celebration. They know that they're in a dogfight here. They're up two to one. And their concern right now is to get back on defense, maintain this lead through the end of the half. And now we've got an injured player, Adrian Torres, in the middle of the field. And coaching staff will have to come out and take a look. So we'll take a break here. So the action starts off with the drop. Manchester U will win it. And out here near side, number eight will put it into play. Angel. Oh, Junior's gonna have his pocket picked. And out here near side, and it is white ball. And just as Manchester will try to put it into play, there's a whistle and the end of the first half, and it's the Cyclones. With a two to one advantage here as we head into halftime, they scored the first goal. Manchester, you came back to tie and then they regained the lead just a few moments ago. 
So for George Landrum Productions, this is Ken Gonzalez. We'll be back with the second half in just a few minutes. Welcome back to the 2007 Las Vegas Mayor's Cup. Ken Gonzalez here for Georgia Langevin Productions, the start of the second half of this boys under 13 match. The Central Valley Cyclones with a 2-1 lead over Manchester United here as we start the final 30 minutes. So they've switched sides, so here in the second half, it's the Cyclones defending the net here on the left side, or the left half of the field. Number nine here. Bernardo Herrera over to Thompson. Thompson with a little dangerous pass there. The cross in front of your own net like that. And it's taken away by Manchester U, number 16, Hector. Red jerseys do a good job of clearing it away from the net. And number six, Javier Hernandez. He's shown us that speed in the first half. Wants to get out and run. Dribbles it away from that far sideline. Efren Perez upfield. Finds Jorge Moran, number 10. Jorge there. Now he moves left to right. Upfield to Michael Escamilla. Escamilla over to Hernandez, and he's going to be pushed out far side. He was the last to touch the ball. and. Kick over to Manchester. And now they want to use the near side of the field. Escamilla, though, gets in the way, but a nice recovery by number nine, Frankie, for Manchester. Thompson puts it into play, goes out on the header, and Thompson again. About 10 yards upfield here on the near side. Gets to put it in again. Escamilla over there near the back line. So again out here near side and Thompson again for the Cyclones. Just the start of things here in the second half. Carlos, number 20, across midfield. Runs in a little trouble, changes direction. Now his pass to Junior. 
Number 19, you know he's dangerous with the left leg shot to the net, and it's going to be just wide. Keeper Brandon Hernandez watches that one go, and just as I said, he's dangerous with that left leg. There was the shot, and it's just wide. Goal kick here for the Cyclones. Here from the near side, they're gonna go right down the middle of the field. First touch, number six, Eduardo. One again, and there's a push right there, hitting the ground, number 12 for the Cyclones, Javier Herrejon, right in front of the referee. And so the ball goes over to the Cyclones. Pace of this one right here to start the second half, much like the middle of the first half. Very slow, deliberate. Down the middle and now right back the other way. So Manchester U on the ball. Here near side, nearly saved from going out by number nine, Bernardo Herrera, but he was last to touch. And Angel number eight for Manchester. Puts it into play here near side, gets it over to Junior. Junior right around a couple of defenders. There's his cross. Oh, they want to try the header, but it's deflected away. And again, cleared out by the defense. And that ball high to the air. They kept waiting. Or Brandon kept waiting for that one to come down. Kept waiting and finally did. But hit the top of the net and rolled right off the back. So the first full day of games here, the Saturday, the 27th of October, 2007. Had some games played yesterday evening to start this tournament off. And then you've got all your semifinals and finals tomorrow. And a push there, and this time that's going to go against Escamilla number 13 and the Cyclones. So free kick here for Angel and Manchester United. Angel again, over to junior number 19, just a little bit too hard and cleared right back up to midfield. Javier Hernandez, number six, getting around the defense. He's got some speed, he's gonna have to hold up though. Looks for some help in the middle, Escamilla number 13. Javier Jarejon, number 12. Segura, number 17. Too many white jerseys right there and they're gonna take it away. Carlos, number 20, comes out of there with it. Pass on the far side of right at midfield. Number four, Sergio, and number 18, Efren Perez get tangled up. Perez still on the ground over on the sideline. And they will have to substitute him out. And they're gonna, looks like they're, he's up now, and looks like they're gonna keep him in. And a change at keeper now for Central Valley. So Hernandez will come out. It looks like Tigran Territorian, number 23, who was in the field in the first half. He is now the keeper for the Cyclones. On the far side. Cyclone Segura with a shot to the net. It's going to hit the cross, the sidebar here, the post. Just about six inches. Too wide right there. And the goal kick for Manchester. Up to midfield. Manchester now across down the middle. Oh, they wanted that one for Carlos there, but it's taken away by the Cyclones. Ahí, Carlos. 
Flag goes up off sides. So a break there for the Cyclones. Red team trying to bring it across midfield. And number 17, Sergio Segura is going to be hampered there as he tries to bring it across. Penalty against Manchester. Connor Pelosi with the kick. Actually, Efren Perez, I should say, number 18. Efren not showing any signs, ill effects there after taking that blow and was on the ground for a minute or so on that far side, but he never came out, got right back up. Thompson there with the header, number nine. Nine, Frankie keeps it in front of him with his body. They try to go to Carlos Perez. Clears it over here to the near side. It's still coming deep and cleared away here by the Cyclone defense here to the near side. Nice job. Oh, trying to use a sideline here. Number six, Javier Hernandez, but the ball goes out. There's a mistake. Carlos, number 20, takes it away. Tigre right there in front, and he'll dive on the ball. And the yellow card to Carlos there. A little extracurricular activity after the fact. So Carlos will have to be substituted. And number 17 for Manchester, Eddie will come in to replace Carlos. So Tigran with a great save there for the Cyclones as Manchester was trying to tie this match up. Sergio Seguro, number 17, and now they're out and they're running. Escamilla, number 13, shot to the net. Oh, it's going to hit the near post here and bounce right out of the secondary attempt by number six. Javier Hernandez is wide, so a huge break right there for Manchester. And their keeper, Danny. Cyclones came right at him, and twice their shot's just off the mark. Score remains 2-1. to one. Eddie, number 17 in the circle. Defended by Sergio Segura. Kick comes upfield. Perez keeps that one from going out. Number 18, far side. And Jorge Moran there, number 10, for the Cyclones. Will put the ball into play. Michael Escamilla, number 13, runs himself out of trouble, tries to move it inside, looks for some help. Ball taken away by Manchester. Angel number eight, there's a whistle. Manchester ball quickly. They send it down the middle of the field. Nice pass right there in the middle of the field, number 16, Hector, to number 15, his teammate Jonathan. Manchester coming in deep, the keeper looking for some help, and number eight, Michael Munoz, comes from behind to deflect the ball away, and I think we're gonna have a corner kick here for 
Well, let's see. Manchester is running after the ball. And it's a goal kick for the Cyclones. Frankie number nine. And now Junior putting the pressure on the defense. Can Junior get the shot? He threads the needle between a couple of defenders. And with the left leg, the shot on goal is going to find the target right past Tigre and the keeper. And we are tied at two. He's so deadly as we've seen here. And we're learning with that left leg, number 19. Junior for Manchester United. So we're all tied up here, second half. And just like the pattern in the first half, it was first score by Central Valley, then the tying score by Manchester. And Central Valley went up, and now here in the second half, we're tied again. Midway through this final half here, so 15 minutes to go. Anyone's ball game. Javier Herrejon is going to lose it. Cleared back up towards midfield. Now it's high into the air. Thompson with a touch at midfield. Over to Hernandez. Hernandez turns. Now he wants to make his move. He's going to be pushed here to the near side by Eduardo, number six. And that whistle, that's going to go against Manchester. So a nice break here for the Cyclones. Near the corner. Not a corner kick. It's a free kick. Activity in front of the net. Here comes a kick with a left leg. Low to the ground. It's going to be deflected. Still in play. Nearly a handball right there. Manchester might even have gotten away with one. Thompson here defensively. Right at midfield, it's going to get past number eight, Michael Munoz. Manchester into the defensive third. And now cleared away by that defense, and the Cyclones here right at midfield. Jonathan, number 15. Touch there by Javier Hernandez, number six. His pass to. Number 13, Michael Escamilla here on the near side. Escamilla now towards the back line. Now wants to make his move inside. He's looking for some help. He's got number nine here, Bernardo Herrera. And the ball will go over to White. So the free kick here. And we've got an injured player for Manchester. And we'll take a quick timeout. So the injured player will stay in. And now we started action again. Number nine here, Frankie to Junior. Defense has to key on Junior right now. He's dangerous. Tripped up. And a yellow card issued to number eight, Michael Munoz. And so the break here for Manchester. So Munoz will come out. And so Junior will set up the, f the kick right here. There's the whistle. He's gonna go direct to the net. Here it comes, and that's gonna be wide and smartly. Tigran will let that one roll out. 
And so the goal kick here for Manchester, or for the Cyclones. Brendan Hernandez, number one. Remember, he was the keeper for the Cyclones and was replaced by Tigran, is now into the field over on the far side, right at midfield. And I was looking over there. Sometimes you get a change of keeper. And you watch and you'll see that that keeper who was replaced comes into the field. So a lot of times when they change keepers doesn't necessarily mean that the keeper was doing a poor job, but it might mean that they need his specific skills or speed in the field to try to get past the opponent. So either way, Brandon Hernandez is in the match. It'll be interesting, interesting to see. We've had a couple of injuries that have taken some time off the clock. And normally they'll let them play a little bit longer and there's an offsides call. But a couple of things. This game got off to about a two minute slow start. And the halftime, they tried to make it up, I think, by shortening that first half by a minute or so. Then the halftime went over a minute or so. So it'll be interesting to see if they actually cut this one off right at about 10.30. where they let them continue to play. Obviously, several games to be played here throughout the day, and you start adding up five minutes, two minutes here and there, and by the time those evening games roll around, you're half an hour behind schedule. But this field does have lights. Ball out here near side, white ball. Remember, we're tied at two. And the throw in was incorrect there and so goes over to the Cyclones. Number nine, Bernardo Herrera will come out. Timmy Thompson puts it into playing quickly a whistle and this time against the Cyclones. And the ball belongs to Manchester. Escamilla's pass over to the far side, run down by Timothy View, number seven. And no one's gonna get there, it's gonna go out. And let's see where the flag is, is it? Must have gone out across the back line and it did so. They set up the goal kick there far side and they just set it out. And that's one thing this Manchester U team does not do is waste any time. They put the ball right back into play every time. There's Brandon Hernandez there, number one. Pass over to Sergio Segura. Segura's pass is gonna get by everybody coming out and making the stop. Is the keeper ball still on the ground? Danny recovers. Number seven, Timothy View is there. And finally, Danny pounces on that ball. And so the Cyclones turned away. We're tied at two, remember. And if we're gonna play a full 30 here, we have seven minutes to go here in this one. Thompson with the throw in. Out here near side and it is red ball. Cyclones. Hernandez into play. And Javier Hernandez with the header. Goes right out off wide again. Nice job stepping in front right there. Hector, number 16. And now Manchester U on the run. Junior, number 19. He's got his pocket pick this time. Takeaway by Munoz, number eight. No yellow card that time. 
Nice defensive play. Far side, Jorge Moran, number 10, battling Sergio, number 4. And that penalty against Sergio. And the ball goes over to the Cyclones. Cyclones, there's a cross in the header and the ball's gonna find the back of the net and the Cyclones have taken the 3-2 lead here. Number seven, Timothy View. From the far side, set up perfectly into the middle and the header finds the target. So View puts the Cyclones up 3-2 here. In the second half, time remaining for Manchester. Substitution into the match, number two. Marvin. Marvin there with the left leg. Nice little pass up field to Junior. Cyclones, Javier Hernandez across midfield. He looked for view again, but too strong on that pass, and Danny, the keeper, scoops it up. Kick is met in the circle there by number 17, Sergio Segura. Marvin going up against Sergio right there, number two. Carlos tried to get there from behind, but it was released a split second before. And Danny with the pickup there. Cyclones with the lead. They've got to play smart. There's just about five minutes to go. Camillo with a header at midfield, sends it to the right half. Javier Herrejon, number 12, and the ball out. Off Manchester. And unofficially, I've got just about three minutes remaining in this one. Escamilla hits the ground, he's gotta get up, and now Perez does a great job, number 18 with that speed, gets in front of Carlos, and clears it out far side. And number 13, Michael Escamilla went down hard, was tripped up from behind, no whistle. Ball in play, number eight, Michael Munoz, far side. And Manchester, they've got to get on it. Becoming spectators right now, and they don't have much time. They've got to become aggressive here. Junior here near side, Timmy Thompson right on him, number 14. Thompson tries to push him to the back line. He gets away, comes in deep and deflected away by Michael Munoz. So the corner kick here for Manchester. There's a little confusion there as to what it was. And it is a corner. So a huge break for Manchester United right now with an opportunity to tie this one up.
Just a little bit long. Header clears it away again. Shot to the net number 10. And it's going to be long and wide there. Maya. Substitution into the match number 13. Christopher for Manchester. Tigran set it down for the goal kick. And of course, Cyclone's not in a hurry. They've got the lead, 3-2. Escamilla with the kick. Strong here. Marvin with the touch right off the end of the foot there, the toes. And it's going to roll here into the backfield of Manchester. And that pass is going to be Aaron here on the near side. And it's red ball. Hey, look, Rick. Look. Still in play. Hernandez sends it over to the back line, and it'll go out. So a goal kick there for Manchester. Quickly, they've got to collect it and get it upfield as quick as they can, and as far as they can. And as they do, there's the whistle. And that will bring to an end this boys under 13 match. And it's the Central Valley Cyclones with a 3-2 victory over Manchester United. And a very good game. A very exciting game goes constantly coming from behind this Manchester squad to tie it up twice. And then Central Valley off the leg of, or the header by Timothy View puts it away for the 3-2 victory. So a nice competitive match here, the 2007 Las Vegas Mayor's Cup. And again, the Cyclones over Manchester, 3-2. King Gonzalez here for George Langevin Productions. We hope you enjoyed this one. Until we see you again, be safe and have a great day, everyone. King Gonzalez here for George Langevin Productions. Post-game interviews with the Central Valley Soccer Academy Cyclone squad. They just came off a really close 3-2 victory over Manchester. We got three guys here, so why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Javier Hernandez. I'm number six, and I play forward and keeper. I'm number one, Brandon Hernandez. I play goalie. I'm Ethan Perez, number 18. I play center mid. All right. So was this a pretty tough game here today for you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. They kept coming back, didn't they? Yeah, they kept coming back, and I wasn't even finishing most of my plays. Really? How come? I just don't know. I wasn't just getting a good touch on the ball. Maybe it's just too early. you got to get going? No. Usually I'm good in, in the mornings. Really? Yeah. So what do you, was it their def defense, or was it just something like you're blaming yourself for? I'm blaming myself for it. So I should have made those. You're going to come back in the second game? Yeah. Yeah. You know who you guys play? Uh, No. No? I think Palo Alto or something. Oh, okay. You guys are from Northern California, right? Yeah. Yes. Now, have you ever played on artificial turf like this before? Yes, I have. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. How come it's better than grass? 
because it, like the ball rolls up kind of faster and then it's more time for the goalie to dive. Yeah. And that's about it. Now, what are the fields like when you play back home? Just pure grass, like like where we play at our home stadium. There's like pure dirt. Really? So it's yeah. hardly any grass at all. It's, a it's grass, but like where the goals goals are at is like pure dirt. Oh, because it's all worn out. Yes. Yeah. So it makes it tough to dive. Yes, it does. Now you came in in the second half and played in the field, right? Yes, I came in the second half. What position were you playing? Right mid. Right mid. Yeah. Which you like better? You play in the field or do you like playing keeper? I like playing keeper better. Yeah. Is that the first position you learned? Uh, yeah. It was? Yeah. You want to keep going with it too? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. You did a good job today. All right. How about you? What are your thoughts? You guys, you guys came away with the victory, but you think you could have played better? Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do differently later on today? Just distribute the ball more. Yeah. Look for some more passing opportunities? Yep. Now, do you guys practice that a lot? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What, uh, what drills do you do for, for passing? It's just sequin passing and different drills. Yeah. You do a lot of running in practice? Yeah. yeah. Now, do you play any other sports besides soccer? No. Nope. This is it? Yep. Have you played every single position out there, or do you keep just a one or two? Just like two. The max is three. Really? Yeah. Which is your third position? It'll be like left back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, that's good. All right, so you guys have the victory here. You're going to play another one. Have you been to this tournament before? Uh, no. No? All of you? It's the first time? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You too? Yeah. All right, now here's your well, chance. I haven't been, but they, they, they have. Yeah. All right, we'll ask them. All right, tell them that they can answer their own questions. Their <laughs> own question. What? Ask them one question. <laughs> All right, now is your big chance. You get to say hi to anybody you want to back home. Uh, I don't have any. Oh, okay. Hi, Grandma. Grandma, okay. Yeah. I want to give this game to my dad. He's in Madera. Yeah, he's back home? Yeah. All right. How about you? Later, brother. <laughs> All right, guys, good job. Good luck later on today. Hopefully we'll get another win and send three more of your guys back. Give a nice way to the camera. All right, here we go. We've got another group of guys here for the Cyclone squad. Who are you, and what positions do you play? Um, I'm Bernardo Herrera, and I'm a forward. Okay, and what number are you? Nine. I'm Sergio Segura, and I'm number 17. I play middle. Okay. I'm Michael Munoz, and I play sweeper and number eight. All right, guys coming off a of victory right now, three to two. Did you have any idea what type of team you were playing? Uh, no, not really. Uh, I never heard of this team before. Yeah. And we got out there, and it was pretty tough. It was a pretty tough match. You guys would go up, then they'd come back, yeah. and then luckily you guys went up again. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like an easy game, but it wasn't that easy. Really? Like when you guys scored the very first goal, did you think you were going to walk all over them? Mm, well, I knew they, they were going to get scored on at least because their their forwards were really good, and they just ran through our, our defense. Really. Yeah, especially that uh, number 19 with the left leg. It was yeah. tough. Yeah. yeah, really yeah. tough. He was pretty good. Yeah, he was really fast, too. Yeah. In fact, you got a yellow card. They say you tripped him up, but I don't know. Did do you think it was pretty fair? Well, I stuck my leg out because then he passed the ball by me, and then I, he just fell over my leg. He just kind of hit you. Because I, I stuck for the ball, and then he just went over. I think it should have been a whistle, but I'm not sure it should have been a card. Yeah, me too. I think it's kind of harsh because didn't the referee let a lot of stuff go by during the game? Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. I mean, you guys like to play, but it was kind of getting. A lot of guys are hitting the ground. I was getting frustrated with the referee was like marking bad calls. Really? Yeah. Were you saying anything? In my head. <laughs> oh, not out loud? You don't say anything? No. No? You let the coach do that? Yeah. Was he getting upset with the guy? Um, yeah. Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah. So it's like when there was like five or six minutes left in the game, you guys are holding on to that just one goal lead. You're probably hoping that at that point, the referee doesn't start blowing the whistle all the time. Yeah. Exactly. Now, this field here artificial do you like playing on it or not uh not really because uh it's very easy to slip and your shoe gets stuck and you know yeah. I, I don't really yeah, like it you got to have the right shoe for exactly. these yeah especially with cleats you need, like indoor soccer shoes so you're playing you were sliding a lot probably. yeah yeah you don't get as much traction yeah and like when you fall it like scrapes you up a little yeah well, they say it's supposed to be softer than grass but i'm not sure no <laughs> Uh -uh. Not at all. Do you guys play your next game here too? Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, I think so, I yeah. Think probably. Yeah. All right, now's your chance to get to say hi to anybody you want to back home. Um, no, I don't know. Nobody? Uh, Dogs, cats? No, uh, well, I'd like to say hi to my grandma. Okay, well, there you go. See. <laughs> um, 
Well, I say hi to my sisters. Okay, are they back home? Yeah. All right, how many? Three. Three sisters? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to say hi to my grandma. Mm, tell her I love her, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Anyone else? No. No? It's my cousins. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, good job. Get the win later on today. Maybe you guys will get in that winner's bracket and play tomorrow in the finals. So uh, give a nice wave to the camera, and you guys are done. All right, ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, third group here, guys, for the Cyclone squad. Why don't you tell me who you are? I'm Javier Herjan, age 12. I have two positions. I'm attacking mid and defensive mid. Okay. Hi, I'm Timmy Thompson. I'm number 14, and I play uh, defense. I'm Jorge Moran, I'm number 10, and I play left midfield. All right, so you, you had a lot of action there in the second half, mm -hmm. definitely in this yeah. game. Were you getting tired? Yeah, I was getting a little bit. You have to use your mind when, yeah. you're, when, you're, when you're not feeling well. Well, exactly. not, well when you're, you're getting, getting tired. tired, yeah. Exactly. Now, when you guys practice, do you do a lot of running or conditioning? We do running, a lot of scrimmages. Yeah, do you play any other sports besides soccer? Uh, just running. Just run. So that helps you out, yeah. you know, when you're out here, definitely. Yeah, did you have any problems out there with the traction on the field? No. Slipping? I no? I didn't feel anything. You're fine? Yeah. Okay. All right. Move, moving on. You were very busy today, too, up and down the sidelines. Their guys up front were pretty fast. Yeah. Were you just doing anything you could to get in front of them? Yeah. Yeah? Now, do you see that kind of competition back home? Yeah, a lot. Yeah? Like, who? what team is your big rival? Uh, South Valley and Odyssey. Do they have guys that can run like that? No. No? Not even close? How do you think they would do if they played these guys? Uh, not as well as we did. No? Were you going to say something? No, oh, no. No. Okay. So not as well. So you think, so you, are you guys, when you're back home, are you one of the better teams? Yeah, we're, we were the champions last year and like, we like won most of their games. Really? Easily, yeah. Yeah, which of those teams did you, uh, who was like second place? Uh, I think Madeira. You guys always have a lot of good games against them? Yeah, we have a lot of good games with Madeira. Really? Is there bad blood at all? Yeah, there's bad blood. Really? A lot, of, a lot of physical play? Yeah. Really? Who's like their big guy on their team that you guys uh, really like too much? They have like this fast number 11. Really? Yeah. So would you say that that's the guy? Or? I don't know. No? Maybe they say the same thing about you. Maybe they're like, that number 14 over there for Cyclone. Can't get by him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, have you been playing soccer, like, since you could walk, basically? Yeah, pretty much. Is it your favorite sport? Yeah. Really? Nothing else? Do you any of you play any other sports? Uh, yeah. do, we do cross country. Really? Yeah. So there's a lot of runners on this team. Yeah. So, you know, you guys pretty, this team that you guys just played, they're a very quick team. And so you guys matched up really well because you can run. Yeah, they didn't really outrun us. It was no, just not at all. They had a couple guys that they could try, but I think defensively you guys got in their way. Yeah, we really stopped their attack on when they were on offense. Mm -hmm. Our defenders did a great job. So did your defenders just do a good job of reading things and falling into place and closing up the lane? They weren't really talking as much. It was one play that he split right through our uh, mid uh, mid defense and. Mm -hmm. Right. Definitely. He's the one they scored on, right? Yeah. They brought your keeper out, and then they got right past him. Yes. Yeah. yeah. In the first half, we were playing real flat defense, and yeah. we didn't have any depth, and they were just playing the through balls and getting straight in. So you made an adjustment at halftime? Yeah, we made an adjustment. That's good when you guys came in with the victory. All right, now, who do you want to say hi to back home? Uh, My sisters. Oh, How many sisters? A lot. A like lot. five, six. Five or six? Well, what is it? Five or six? Uh, <laughs> I don't even remember. Erica, Christina, Melissa, Veronica, Lexi, and Kendra. Are you the only brother? Yeah. Really? It's got to be tough. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, my grandma, my grandpa, and everybody back at Computech. Okay. Uh, my three brothers and my grandparents and my school Computech. All right. Now, do you, you only have brothers, no sisters? No sisters? All right. All right, guys, good job. Get the win later today. We'll be rooting for you guys. And uh, give a wave to the camera, and you guys are done. Thank you. All right, we got the final group of guys right here for the Cyclone squad out of, uh, where is Central Valley at? Fresno. Fresno area? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Give me your name, number, and your position. I'm Timothy Vu, and my number is seven, and I'm a stock. Okay. 
My name's Connor Pelosi, and I'm number 16. I play right mid and right back. Now, you had the honors of having the winning score here today. You had the header, pushed it right through. Can you remember that play? Describe it for us. Yeah, when they just start from the back and then play it up to the left, and then one of my teammates just crossed it, so I just scored. You were right there? Yeah, I was the right header. there. Yeah. Now, you guys... I think on two of your three scores, you used a header. Is that a play you guys use a lot when it's coming in from the side and you set it up in the middle? Yeah. You practice that a lot? Yeah. 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 Have you scored on that one a lot? Yeah, we scored on that a lot because we always practice it in, on, in practice. Well, that's a fun thing to practice, though, right? Yeah. It's always good when you can use it in the game. Yeah, it is. When you I can finish at practice, it's fun. Exactly. Now, were you trying to do everything you can to stop number 19 over on the side? Yeah, yeah, he was really quick. He was quick and he was big. He had a lot of weight. Too. Yeah, he was hard to stop. And then they had number 20 also, who was kind of in the middle. Yeah, um, he's just like pretty tall. Yeah. So. He was just a lot of space, really. Yeah. But the skills, his dribbling skills were probably not as good as you guys. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, that's, you know, that's the truth. Yeah, I guess. We practice a lot. Practice a lot. And sometimes when you get a really big guy, it's not that he doesn't have the skills, but, you know, they tend to be, until they grow up a little bit, a little uncoordinated, you know, and it's just all power out there. So were you ever, like, afraid that you guys are in danger of losing this game? Yes. Really? At what time. point? When, like, they cross the ball over my head a lot of time. <laughs> well, did you make the adjustment? So what did your yeah, like, coach tell you guys at halftime? He told us to, like, get some sp – just tell us to um, get away from, like, away from the the um, the other guys. Yeah, to spread it out a little spread bit. Spread it out. Exactly, because then they – if you yeah. play them too close, they run right by yep. you. Exactly. Is that – do you agree with yeah, that? Yeah, that's what he told us. He told us just to, like – because the guy at forwards are really fast, so he told us to – get some stay back on them not play them really close not as aggressive exactly give them some room and that way you know which way they're going to be going yeah so although they did have speed i don't think they were very good at cutting in and out no yeah well they're they well, one guy was. yeah one guy was just cutting our defenders a lot but the other tw number 20 kind of just hung out yeah. in the middle yeah he just hung out and just he got a lot of space that's when he dribbled exactly all right now's your chance say hello to anybody you want back home uh, my aunts, uncles, and my grandmas. Okay. Anyone else? You got it? Good. And that's that's pretty much it. Okay. I want to shout out to all my friends at Kasner. Yeah, is that your school? Yeah. Is that a cool school? It's okay. It's just okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Anyone else? Family? Uh, oh, yeah. My brother, Trent. He didn't come out for the trip? No. no. Is he older or younger? He's older. All right, good job, guys. Hopefully we get a victory later today and uh, take a trophy back home to Fresno. All right, good job. Wave to the camera, and you guys are done. All right, we're here with the Cyclone coaching staff. You guys got to be pleased coming away with a victory here. Yeah, we definitely got the result. Uh, you know, the luck just kind of the ball bounced our way. Yeah. Why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves for everyone that's uh, going to uh, be watching. This. My name is Makoto Anderson. I am one of the coaches with Central Valley, and we've been coaching these guys for quite a while. Okay. I'm Joe Spinoza. I'm also one of the coaches, coaching them for a while. All right. Sarkis Barbarian, I'm also one of the coaches. Okay. Been coaching for a while? For a while. This is my first year with them. All right. Cool. Good job. All right. You had to make some adjustments, I think, you know, at halftime. And uh, they seemed to have come out. And a few minutes into the second half, I think they kind of got the idea of what they needed to do. Well, a game like that, you know, the, we're not used to the conditions, you know, the different field, the elevation with the fires and stuff. So, uh, we made the adjustments, and, you know, the kids really battled through. Yeah. Now, how? what's the best way to contain, like, number 19 that they had on their on their side? Uh, our team, is we, we really don't do a man-to-man -man marking. Um, we usually just kind of play our own positions, play zone, rather. But um, to contain a guy like that, you just really have to stand him up and don't let him get behind you. That's pretty much what we did. Exactly. And it worked out. Yeah, yeah. I think they did fine on that. On that uh, particular issue and results came with us now this you being this is your first year with this guy what's kind of the hardest thing when you're trying to get your point across to 13 year olds I guess experience try to teach them more most experience that you can give them 
and depend some of them they pick it up fast, some of them they pick it up slowly but it takes time. So but surely and slow patience and surely but slowly, you know, it get there. Exactly. Now do you have seeing what this team can do right here in this game, I mean are you thinking, hey, you guys could get a little deep into this tournament? Oh yeah, you know we've had we had we've had good results in the past. You know we came to this tournament two years ago, two years ago, and walked away with the championship. So really? we're just happy to be back here. And uh, a game like that, we're just we're, we're proud of the boys. You know they fought through. They really came through with the victory. And ultimately, we got the win. You know, and against a against a quality team. But I think we were our own worst enemy that game. Exactly. So. And a lot of your players said so. Yeah. They, they felt they could play better. Yeah. And that, sh that shows a lot for the kids to be disappointed with the win. You know they're disappointed with the performance. But what we're trying to teach them is they did get the win. You know, and that's that's what means everything. Exactly. Now, at this age, is it tough to get these guys to focus on playing their game and not get sucked into what the other team is trying to do? Yeah. Um, yes and a no. They're they're very disciplined players at this age, though. Saturday they come out playing really good. Sunday they could just come out playing like a totally different team. Um, they're pretty they're pretty disciplined about about playing their own game and stuff like that. But you know, they're 12 and 13 years old. They're gonna get they're gonna get mixed up at times. Exactly. But Overall, they're pretty much disciplined to play their own game. And today, we just kind of, you know, at the beginning of the half, or first half, rather, we weren't disciplined enough to play our game. Got tired playing balls, you know, letting, not letting the ball do the work. But, you know, like Coach Makoto said, overall, I think we uh, pulled it off, and that's very good. Yeah, definitely came away with the win. All right, any words for the team when they watch this? Anything you want to tell them? Uh, just uh, happy that we won the game. All right. That's it. Exactly. All right, and anything uh, you know further on? Is it something you've seen from these guys? Uh, you've been how many years now? Have you? Have you uh, the major we, we had a good core group of since they're about seven years old. Really? So, so that's a while. You know, we started with indoor soccer, so it's good that we've grown cl close to these kids. And you know, the ball bounce. Uh, we've been in a lot of games like this recently. Really? You know, and the ball doesn't necessarily bounce our way. So you but keep you a know, bottle of Tums in the back pocket. Yeah, you know, <laughs> lose some hair. You know, exactly. so I angry a few uh, significant others, but. Uh, but you these know. are the close games that when you get into those semis and championship matches, exactly. that's where the experience comes exactly. from. Exactly. And you know what? And the ball bounced our way this time, and that's definitely a plus, and that's what we're trying to trust to these kids, that you know what? Your hard work pulled it through. Yeah. All right. Well, congrats, guys, and uh, good luck the rest of the way. Hopefully we'll see you at the end. Thank you. All right. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, that'll do it for us here from Kellogg's Air, and we saw the Central Valley Cyclone squad defeat Manchester United by a final score of 3-2. to two. Coaching staff seems pretty pleased, so we'll see what they can do the rest of the way. So for George Langevin Productions, King Gazaz, wishing you a very good day.